you know, these events, you know, they, they'll wear you out. And, uh, you know, one thing, you know, I'm wanting to do is, you know, I'm wanting to achieve my dreams. I'm wanting to put forth the effort, 100% effort, 110%, 120% to succeed. And, you know, going out here on these practice days, you know, they can be tough. They can be tough on you. You know, it can be either it can boost your confidence or it can, you know, it can crush you. And, you know, the, these type of days that you go through, I had, I had a lot of crazy stuff happen um, when I'm at this lake, when I'm at Winyaw Bay or River, whatever you'd like to call it. And, uh, you know, first day, you know, we're going all the way to the Cooper River. Um, we're taken out of, the tournament's taken out of, and, you know, we're, we're going, it's almost a two hour drive on boat. Cooper River is where most of the big bass are caught, you know, m most of those pros uh, that are doing good in the events, that's where they went, because those are where, where, those, are where those big fish are. And uh, so we were gonna go up there first day, we're gonna practice, we're gonna try to find those spots, we're gonna try to find those fish, they're gonna put us on the pattern to win. Because keep in note, this is a three day tournament, and it's not about, you know, just going up, catching your fish, you have to savor your fish, you're gonna have to be consistent, you can't go beat up your fish, you're gonna have to be consistent for those three days. So we uh, are heading up the Cooper River, and you know, once we get there, I have to get gas, you know, I'm almost out of gas. We're not even there yet, you know, we're about an hour and 45 minutes in, hour and 30 minutes in. I have to stop and get some gas out of Marina, and, uh, you know, one of my buddies called me on our fishing team and goes, you know, uh, I double checked the rules, and, uh, you know, that side of the river's off limits. And, you know, at that point, you know, that that's, that's a great lesson learned, but it's something that, you know, hurts me inside, you know, I was like, Gosh, you know, I just wasted this whole day because then I'm gonna have to drive another two hours back. And the craziest part is, is we're driving around, you know, Cooper River. We're in Charleston, South Carolina, because we're so far up. And literally, I'm probably about an hour from the Savannah River. I could literally wrap myself back around. And uh, I'm just seeing dolphins swim by. Um, you know, seeing all kinds of stuff. I'm in salt water and just working my way up to the Cooper River. So, just had to turn our butts around and. Uh, you know, head back to some other productive areas that we could actually fish. And you know, after you know all this crazy stuff's happening, you know, we got we got to do something. We still have a little bit of time in the day, so you know, we hike back. It was two hours. Um, we didn't have a choice. Um, passing all kinds of big old ships, and only if I had some of the footage, you know, if I could go back, I, I would definitely film a lot more stuff. Um, so we had to make a decision. You know, we, we traveled the one area um, by the Santee River and we, we fished for a few hours and I've never fished a place like this and I was looking around me, you know, there's there's just a lot of stuff that just looked weird and, you know, I'm pretty positive I was fishing in that area, there's not even bass. And, you know, it finally clicked after a while and I was like, I gotta get out of here. Um, we, we traveled up the South Santee River went up that way, found a lot of cool stuff, like, you know, we're so far up this river, like, this is where bass are going to be, this is where freshwater fish are going to be, and, um, you know, caught a few, um, nothing special, but, uh, definitely found out that area, got about an hour in that area, the problem was going up that South Santee, we went up that thing about an hour, and, you know, driving at this point, I've, I've gone through almost over two tanks of gas, you know, in one day, and, uh, you know, that's, that's just, it's a lesson learned and it is something that's, that's just going to make you a better angler and make you stronger. But that was our first day of practice there. So, um, you know, the second day, you know, we were thinking differently. We had to, you know, find a good area, which I really like, the South Santee. And um, I was like, all right, um, Sean, which is my fishing partner, I was like, we're going to go up there, South Santee. Um, it's in Jamestown. We're going to drive up there so we don't have to do this long run and put in there and figure out a pattern to find these fish. You know, after fishing, uh, you know, the first couple of hours, we went back in this cut, this slough, and it, it leads way back. It's like a whole other chain, you know, and uh, it, it pushes back. It's really dangerous. I have to idle through it. You know, there's a lot of stumps, just a lot of dangerous stuff. And, um, 
I just had to do that to get back to where I was wanting to go because you know this area looked really good it looked like there's a little pond back there and uh, I, I just knew there, there would be some bass back there and you know we finally got back there started fishing and finally hooked into some some fish and you know they weren't they weren't small because these were river fish you know it's just these fish you know you're gonna want those ones that are over, like two pounds and over you know that's that's around what these fish were and we're finally finding them or catching them you know we're like all right let's just stop you know we we don't need to catch anymore and so right after that you know we got out of there just trying to find some new areas and um, produce some more patterns and find some more fish um, for the rest of the tournament.